Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here this afternoon uh, at this job. Not been here for a while, but you may recognise some of it. I have done some filming, tidying up some of the borders, um, and also a bit over there. Um, I have, oh, and the front as well. Um, did some videos on the front garden as well. Um, but, like I say, I haven't been here for a while. Um, so I've come today just to start on the back garden because um, literally it hasn't been touched. As you can see, <laughs> the Ily Agnes has gone mad. Um, just got to watch for a tread because of the dog's mess. Um, there's the pampas grass, which looks a bit of a mess now. That can be cut back. Uh, the bay tree, I'm not sure what to... I think that's self-set, to be honest. I might need to do something with that, but I'm not sure yet. And the other major thing which I never got round to uh, previously was this dead uh, cryptomeria um, tree, which I think I'm going to have to get on and do something with it. Um, yeah, um, and then the rest of it all needs tidying up as well. If we come down through air, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. And I know the customer was on about the shed needs replacing in the corner. And I think they wanted to put a slightly bigger one in. So they were on about removing some of these shrubs to bring a bigger shed this way. Um, but I'll have to have a chat with her about that when I see her. Um, and then obviously carrying on trimming up. Um, but I probably won't get that far today. I think it'll probably take me long enough just to concentrate on this bit. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get started on this um, and see how we go.
okay everyone so I've got a bit of an impromptu unboxing um, something I got the other day um, and I'll tell you why I got it um, and yeah looking forward to trying it out basically so without further ado we will see what we've got not a big box First of all, might give it away a little bit. May give it away a little bit more. I'll get that out now, gives it away a little bit more. Okay. Oh, and we have the chain. So, we have got the Steel MSA 161T. So, yep, this is a top handle chainsaw. Am I a tree surgeon? I wouldn't call myself a tree surgeon. I'm a gardener, but I do prune trees. Um, I reason I got this. Um, I was looking at the still, is it the GTA 26? Some of you might see the little handheld pruner just to help me when I'm doing the bigger cuts, when I'm doing heavy cutting back, maybe pruning a, a few trees. I do do some trees. Um, when you're doing heavy cutting back on shrubs, you get the odd branch, you think, oh, saw, and the other, a couple of weeks before Christmas I did my arm in and it's still giving me trouble now I think I've done something to the tendon um, so I was thinking oh because it's the repetitive actions like sawing and stuff like that I thought it'd be really handy I've got chainsaws but of course they're heavy and of course you don't really want to be using them unless you have to but I thought actually a little saw for when you're up pruning a big shrub or something or cutting something back and it's got some big branches which is why I first thought of the GTA 26 um, which is a small handheld but it's got it's got such a small cutting chain um, I thought actually I'm probably going to come to the conclusion eventually after having it a while that I probably should have got something a little bit more substantial because to me it looked like it would probably struggle through some of the stuff um, and also the battery doesn't last long well this takes the AP batteries um, I also have got another AP battery I've just bought a AP 200 which is the slightly smaller one but the reason being it's a little bit lighter all the time I'm thinking of my body which is gradually wearing out I think um, so anything I can do to make life a little bit easier on it. So hence the reason for getting this. Um, nice and light, it's got a 10 inch bar. Um, so it'd be great just for the little tiny pruning. Um, and this is a lot lighter obviously than a petrol saw. Um, and obviously the advantage being you can use it one handed if you need to. Um, Obviously, you're better if you don't have to, but if you've got an awkward cut to do, it's, it's got that option. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is my new tool. This was my Christmas present to myself and my weary body. So I'm gonna get this together and we'll give it a little go. Okay, here we go, we've got it together. As you can see, just a tiny little um, 10 inch bar um, but big enough obviously for what you know the, the purpose what I've, what I've got this for um, so yeah we'll just put a bit of um, chain oil in
go, we've got chain oil. So this was the other thing I purchased as well, another battery, has only had the one battery so far. Um, and I've been quite pleased with the still battery equipment so far. Um, it's been brilliant to use. Um, I've got the AP300S battery. Um, this is the slightly, well, quite a bit smaller AP200 battery, but it's actually a fair bit lighter. Um, and to be honest, I know a lot of people have said they just have a load of these charged up because they're that much lighter in the equipment. Obviously the other one will last a lot longer, but you've got the added weight, um, which, you know, when you're cutting hedges and stuff all day, it does, <laughs> it does take a toll. So any, any less weight we can do, um, I'm all for that. So, um, yeah, so I've thought of getting AP 200 battery to try out and it is, is a lot lighter. Um, and I thought it actually, it'll be ideal for this. So, um, so there we go. Uh, yeah, that one's charged up. So yeah, I mean, obviously now that makes the weight quite a bit different, but it's still a lot lighter than a, um, obviously a petrol saw. So, uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. There we go. Just a quick little test um, to see how it is. Um, and then obviously when I use it in a minute, I will put my chainsaw leggings on, but just give it a quick, quick go. It's like a knife through butter. Well, I think this is going to be a, a good bit of kit, I think. Um, ideal for those slightly heavier cuts where, you know, you want something a bit more substantial, but obviously probably not a full-on chainsaw, maybe. Um, things like that, you know, can get quite heavy on the hands when you're using uh, loppers and stuff. So, uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant and obviously battery, so uh, no fuel, no uh, worrying about running out of fuel, just obviously you can check the battery, um, and yeah, I'll see how this one gets on with that one. Obviously I do have the other battery if, um, if I need to use it, but um, obviously this one makes the machine that much lighter, so uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm using some decent gloves uh, for this bit as I'm clearing up the pampas grass because uh, anyone that knows pampas grass knows that it's uh, pretty um, unforgiving on skin. I mean, it'll give you a nasty, uh, oh, it's like a paper cut really. It'll give you a, um, yeah, quite a nasty cut um, and it can go quite deep if you catch it in the right place. So uh, I've actually got my chainsaw gloves on might be a bit overkill but these are these are well worn so uh, yeah we'll get this cleared up
other thing it does is it ends up going up your leg and undoing your boot laces. Okay, so I found something that I think I can try my new saw out on. I was uh, just having a look over the back fence here and there's actually a um, willow tree. I think it's a willow, yeah, that's um, sort of blown down on the fence there. So uh, what I might do is um, there's a gate out the back, so I might go out and just cut this back so it's not leaning on the fence there. Get that tidied up there was another one i cut down that was leaning right over um i don't know who owns this woodland but nobody ever does anything out there and it all just ends up falling down over into the gardens along there so yeah i might go and try it out around there give it a test
Right then, um, I think I'm going to uh, call it a day. It's um, well, it's almost four o'clock on a Friday, so uh, and I'm uh, pretty worn out, and we're losing the light now. Um, yeah, the old uh, sun's uh, disappearing gradually. So uh, yeah, oh, there's just there's loads to do here. I I just. Well, I haven't been here for a long time and I don't do the garden regular like I used to. So it's kind of gotten a bit out of hand, but they got someone else to do the grass regular. So I just come in and do the shrubs, but really all the borders need going through, but they don't seem too worried as long as the shrubs get cut every now and again. Um, and to be honest, I haven't got a lot of spare time. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble as usual. Um, so anyway, we've got quite a bit of this trimmed up. I've got that dead one cut down. There's a bit of rubbish um, that I'll have to clear up next time, but it's tidied out of the way, to be honest. I, I don't think I even venture down the garden much, to be honest. So, uh, um, And like I said, I need to talk to her. She's, um, the lady who lives here, she's not in today. So uh, I will talk to her next time about maybe clearing some of this, and next time I'll bring my shredder and we'll get this tree down i was going to do it today but then i thought well there's no point really because i haven't got my shredder with me so uh it's probably better to leave it for a day when i've got my shredder then i can tidy it all up in one go otherwise i just got to leave a big heap of rubbish i thought well it's tidier there so uh, i'll leave it there anyway um I am just going to finish packing my stuff away and then I'm going to be going off home. So um, thanks everyone for watching um, and I will catch everyone on the next video. Gotta love the colours this time of year.